Hi, this is Daniel Shanahan with New Leaf Data. In FileMaker 13, we have a new layout object called Popovers. And popovers are great because we can just pop over an object and click and get an extra set of fields. We can even have a, a, a container field or picture or portals. One of the things we can't do so easily is put a portal in a popover when that popover is in the portal. I go into layout mode and you can see that I have a popover object and I'm showing a portal here. The reason I'm doing that is because I have a list of invoices and I'd like to be able to pop over this and see what the line items are of that particular invoice. In other words, how did I get to $78? So you can do it on the first row, but really in, in FileMaker we cannot have portals inside of portals. The only When we do that, only that first portal will show the subsequent portals. So it doesn't work here. Uh, so that doesn't really do me any good. To get around that, I could, I could put the data in a text field. Here I have a text field, and it's pretty easy to do with the new Execute SQL, although you could easily do it by looping through the, the records and building this list. One of the things I don't like about this is I don't really have tight columns, and so my numbers are a little bit, a little bit off, my decimals don't match, I can't really format this as a currency. Um, so it works, it's easy to set up, but it has some limitations. I found a way of doing something that looks very much like a portal. And I could, I could go to both of these records and I can see the line items. can also go to the record and go to that individual line item. And when I do this, I can, I can format this as a currency, my columns line up. This file is free. It's on my website. It's at newleafdata.com forward slash downloads. So head over there get a copy of the file and it's completely open. You can open it up, reverse engineer it, and see how I'm able to get this pseudo portal inside a portal with a popover. Thanks.